everyone welcome to study iq in this video we'll do the current affairs of 21st of march so let's start the video so today there are again 20 questions in the quiz and all the 20 questions have been prepared by me personally and the level is moderate so let's see if you are able to do those javed ashraf has been appointed as india's next ambassador to which country name is javed ashraf which country's former president hosni mubarak passed away recently Hosni Mubarak was a long time serving president for which country? Which rocket will be used to launch GSAT-1 by ISRO? Remember, GSAT-1 launch has been postponed, but nonetheless, rocket will remain the same. So, which rocket will be used? Which state is number one in the direct benefit transfer payouts rating for 2019-20? Direct benefit transfer payout rating, which state is number one? Which company joined hands with State Bank of India to train the differently abled people? Recently, it was done. Michael Meebach has been appointed as the new CEO of which company? Name is Michael Meebach. Also, you need to tell me who was before him the CEO of this company. Which gas was detected by ISRO detection in the lunar exosphere? Recently, ISRO detected which gas on moon? Which launch vehicle was used for RESAT 2BR1 mission? RESAT 2BR1, which launch vehicle was used by India? What is the name of ISRO's Young Scientist Program? Young Scientist Program, very, very important. What is the name of this program? In the Hurun, in the Hurun Global Rich List, Seven out of the top 10 people who are richest in the world are from which country? Seven out of 10 richest people in the world are from which country? There was an exercise that was conducted recently, military exercise, joint exercise. And the theme of that exercise was base defense and force protection. Which exercise was it and where was it conducted? Anya Shrub Sol is associated with which sport? Anya Shrub Sol. Which country sent duck troops to control locust population of Pakistan? There was a locust attack in Pakistan. One country sent lot of ducks to Pakistan to control the locust population. Now which one is it? Which one is it? Louis Lakal Pau. Louis Lakal Pau was sworn in as the new president of which country? New president of which country? Who became India's third female to hold lieutenant general rank? India's third female only to hold this rank. What is the name? Which university is the number one in the first ever Khelo India University Games? Which university won the maximum medals? Richard John Pace passed away. He used to write in which language? Richard John Pes. The historic city chowk, the commercial hub in Old Jammu, was renamed as what recently? What is the new name of city chowk? When do we celebrate the Civil Accounts Day in India? Civil Accounts Day. Recently, 124th birth anniversary of which Indian personality was observed on 29th of February? On the leap year day, 29th of February, we had 124th birth anniversary of a legendary Indian. Who was he? So these are your questions. Now let me tell you the answers with explanation. Javed Ashraf is India's next ambassador to all important France. France. Okay. Don't forget it. And uh, which country's former president Hosni Mubarak passed away? It is Egypt. The rocket that will be used to carry GSAT-1 is GSLV F10 GSLV Geosynchronous uh, Satellite Launch Vehicle uh, F10 The state that is number one in direct benefit transfer payout is Haryana Haryana SBI has partnered with Microsoft to train the differently abled Michael Meebach has become the CEO of Mastercard and of course before this Ajay Banga was the CEO of uh, MasterCard. Now it is Michael Maybach.
the gas that was detected by isro detection is argon 40 a r g o n argon 40 reset 2 br mission will use pslv c48 polar satellite launch vehicle c48 isro young scientist program is called uvika y u v i k a uvika in the hurun global rich list 7 out of 10 people are from america and the richest person in the world is also from america he is of course jeff bezos in fact number 2 was bernard arnold and the third one was bill gates so bill gates actually slipped to third position joint exercise whose theme was base defense and force protection is indra dhanush exercise and indra dhanush exercise was conducted between india and britain in vasco south goa anya shrubsol is associated with cricket she is a cricket player from england and why she was in news is because she has recently taken 100 t20 wickets that is why she was in news so uh, also remember another exercise which india did with britain was ajay warrior ajay warrior was conducted in salisbury in uk duck troops to pakistan were sent by china louis lakal pau was uh, sworn in as the new president of uruguay and uh, india's third female is madhuri kanitkar who has been given the lieutenant general rank madhuri kanitkar the university that is number 1 in the khelo india university game is punjab university remember punjab university is number 1 richard john pass he used to write in konkani language city chowk is now called bharat mata chowk bharat mata chowk civil accounts day is 1st of march 124th birth anniversary of which indian personality was observed morarji desai the former prime minister of india morarji desai which iit will organize india's first global hyperloop pod competition india's first global hyperloop pod competition is organized by iit madras iit madras has recently partnered with election commission of india and iit madras has also partnered with rolls royce remember that luxury car maker rolls royce and by the way IIT Bombay is number one in India according to QS ranking, Quackerly Simon ranking and there is a IIT called IIT Mandi and IIT Mandi has developed a technology to have hydrogen fuel from water. To develop hydrogen fuel from water, this technology has been made by IIT Mandi. And IIT Madras has also made road accident database, very important, road accident database. This has also been done by IIT Madras. And by the way, Hyperloop is coming between Mumbai and Pune. Now, it remains to be seen whether it comes or not because the ruling government right now is not too keen on it. NASCOM along with which company has recently launched the Innovate for Accessible India campaign. Innovate for Accessible India campaign has been launched by NASCOM in association with Microsoft. Microsoft. And this initiative is for the physically challenged with the help of artificial intelligence and um, cloud services they will try to improve the lives of the differently abled people and by the way nascom president is dev jani ghosh this is very well known now dev jani ghosh is the president of nascom which state government has decided to remove reservation in promotions for SCST employees so remember uttarakhand government will not be giving reservation in promotions to the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe communities uttarakhand cm is trivendra singh rawat and uh, there was a festival also celebrated recently called Full Day Festival. Full Day Festival is a festival of Uttarakhand. Also, Harela Festival is also very popular in Uttarakhand. And recently, there was a Ganga Kyak Festival that was celebrated in Uttarakhand. And there was an international uh, level that is Antarashtriya Yoga Festival that was also celebrated in Rishikesh recently. It was called Antarashtriya Yoga Mahotsav or International Yoga Festival in Rishikesh. And by the way, this year, the yoga day main event will take place in Leh. that is also worth remembering which state has launched the police station visitor survey system and e-night beat checking system both of these things have been launched by himachal pradesh himachal pradesh and himachal pradesh also recently celebrated a festival called fagli festival have you heard about it f-a-g-l-i there is also lavi festival the international lavi fair that is also very popular here and then there is a renukaji festival and one of the most important full edge festival all of these are important festivals of himachal pradesh 
Roger Mayweather, who passed away recently, was associated with which sport? Don't confuse Roger Mayweather with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is a boxer and Roger Mayweather is also a boxer. So the answer is boxing and he's a two times world champion, Roger Mayweather. And he is uncle of Floyd Mayweather, by the way, Roger Mayweather. So both are boxers. Name the two Indians who have been named in the international panel of ICC Development Empire. Remember, the two Indians are Vrinda Rati and Janani Narayan. These two have been included in the ICC Development Empires. ICC is headquartered in Dubai. The government has approved the proposal for creation of National Technical Textile Mission for a period of how many years? National Technical Textile Mission is for a period of four years. So the answer is four year. That is 2020 to 2023-24. And Textile Minister Smriti Rani, her constituency is MIT. By the way, uh, recently uh, the government of India, that is the Ministry of Finance, has ordered all the government department to purchase 20% of their textile requirements from KVIC, Khadi and Village Industries Commission, or from registered weavers or uh, handloom makers, KVIC. 20% of their textile requirement will be done from KVIC or registered handlooms or weavers. When was International Day of Happiness observed? And this time the theme was very simple to remember, happiness for all. Happiness for all, International Day of Happiness was on 20th of March. Quite important. And first time it was celebrated on 20th of March 2013. The Defense Ministry has signed a major contract with which country for procuring or buying more than 16,000 light machine guns. So remember, India will buy 16,000 light machine guns from Israel. Israel and recently a gun called Sharang, S-H-A-R-A-N-G was inducted. Now its capacity has been improved from 130mm to 155mm. Sharang, Sharang gun has been inducted into the Indian Army and we have also made a gun locator that gun locator is called PARTH, P-A-R-T-H, and uh, all the ammunition inside the gun is manufactured by Ordnance Factory Board. Ordnance Factory Board chairman is Hari Mohan. This is also worth remembering, Hari Mohan. DBS Bank India has tied up with which insurance company? DBS is nothing but Development Bank of Singapore. It's a bank belongs to Singapore. By the way, DBS Bank CEO is an Indian, Piyush Gupta, that you should never forget. Piyush Gupta is the CEO of DBS Bank. So DBS Bank has tied up with which insurance company for basically uh, providing complementary insurance plan covering all the medical condition including coronavirus. The company is Bharti AXA. Bharti AXA. WhatsApp Coronavirus Information Hub has been launched globally by WhatsApp in partnership with which organization? So World Health Organization, UNICEF and UNDP all are a part of it. Okay, all are a part of it. UNDP and UNICEF both are headquartered in New York. WHO is headquartered in Geneva. And WhatsApp was founded by two people, Brian Acton and Jan Coombe. Indian Railways has planned to electrify a total of 28,810 kilometers of broad gauge route by what year? Deadline is December 2023. December 2023. Also remember, as a part of the solar mission of Indian Railways, they want to have 1000 megawatt of solar power also remember that they have decided they will procure they will buy 1000 megawatt of solar power and 200 megawatt of wind power this is what they announced recently who is the author of the book invincible a tribute to manohar parikar this book has been written recently and it's about the life of manohar parikar it's written by tarun vijay and uh, it was the first death, first death anniversary of Manohar Parikar on 17th of March. So 17th of March was the first death anniversary of Manohar Parikar, former Defence Minister of India and former Chief Minister of Goa. Which among the following has announced to start Swavlamban Express for budding entrepreneurs? Swavlamban Express is to be launched by SIDBI, Small Industries Development Bank of India, headed by Mohammad Mustafa. Mohammad Mustafa. When will Janta curfew be observed across India? So now it has already been done, 22nd of March. But remember, now there is a 21 days more lockdown. 
which island is losing its ice sheets six times faster than it was losing in 1990s it is greenland greenland is losing its ice sheets very very quickly and it was uh, a report in the climate change it was said by ipcc intergovernmental panel on climate change now can you tell me what is the capital of greenland and also can you tell me what is the currency of greenland write down in comments who has been appointed as the chairman of salesforce india his name is her name is arundhati bhattacharya former chairman of the state bank of india it's a very important question kamal nath resigned as the chief minister of which state so kamal nath has been replaced by now a bjp government has been installed so shivraj singh chauhan is the new chief minister of madhya pradesh he has become the chief minister for fourth time so the answer is madhya pradesh kamal nath is no more the cm sanitary personnel employed by urban and rural civic bodies in which state will now uh, will from now on be called cleanliness worker this will give them more respect in the society instead of sanitary worker they will be called cleanliness worker it was announced by adapati k palna swami the chief minister of tamil nadu which country has handed over the olympic flame to tokyo 2020 organizer it is greece greece and the first person to run with the flame was anna korakaki the greece champion uh, and uh, international olympic committee is headquartered in lausanne chairman is mr thomas bach olympics have been postponed now to 2021 that was the video for 21st of march you very soon go listen take care